Hi, I'm Matthew Hibden. I'm the Strategic Communications Manager in the College of Liberal Arts, and I'm here with Assistant Professor Christabel Davidos in the Department of Global Studies at Human Geography at Middle Tennessee State University. And since most of our life has become virtual in 2020, she's here to talk to us a little bit about video games and how those virtual environments bring in geography and some things you might not have thought of. Dr. Davidos? Yeah, hi everyone. Um, so video games are really interesting. When we think about geography, you know, we think a lot about maps or identifying countries, but geography can be so much more than that. And video games especially are interesting to geographers because they contain entire worlds and spaces and also maps. And there's a lot of story creation. There's commentaries on culture, globalization, economic systems, climate change, environmental social justice, um, and then as well as representation. These are all things that we talk about in geography and they can also be looked at within video games. Um, video games are important in a lot of other ways too, especially in our COVID environment. When we think about the ways that people used to interact, you know, we would interact in person, but now there's actually been an increase in the amount of video game playing that is happening, you know, post COVID. So people have used their video game spaces to communicate with others, um, to stay in contact and still have uh, social interactions. A lot of those are going to inform, you know, when we look at video games, because they reflect, you know, our current culture, they reflect, you know, things in social situations that are taking place today. They also reflect like the ways that we might see our future or the ways that we might think about um, space and place in the future or space and place in the present. Um, and so there are a lot of different ways um, that video games are, you know, engaging with thoughts that we learn about in uh, liberal arts, um, especially when it comes to like representation and social justice um, or even, you know, climate change. All these different themes are addressed a lot in video games. I think uh, video games, just like social media, have definitely aided in that process because when you're playing video games, you know, you can, especially if you're playing like multiplayer games online, you know, you can connect with people from many different countries. So, you know, you can play games with people in, say, India or Japan. Um, and so it's really bridged the gap um, between, um, between countries and between places uh, across the globe. And I think that's really important. And so, you know, just thinking too, you know, prior to COVID, um, you know, we're talking about COVID right now and how people are gathering in communities. Um, you know, people think about video games as being sort of isolationist, like someone's in a basement playing video games, but <laughs> that's not really how it is, right? Like a lot of people play video games with other people um, and build a sense of community, you know, where they have entire servers or discords or, you know, built on community members that they may have never met in person, um, but they are connected to, you know, like online across the globe. And so um, I think especially with sort of the way that we feel isolated with COVID and social distancing, I think video games can really bridge that gap. And prior to COVID, um, you know, with augmented reality games like Pokemon Go, uh, you know, people were connecting there as well. So if you have friends from different parts of the world, right, you can send gifts with specific Pokemon that are, you know, only found in that area of the world. Um, and even with COVID, you can still have access to those things. You know, people can send those things across space and place. Um, and so it's a very uh, globalized topic. It's a globalized issue, very geographical. Um, and it's something that, you know, hasn't really been examined in the ways that I think um, you know, it could be. Um, there's a lot of potential to learn from video games and there's a lot of potential, you know, to do even research on video games because they're so important to our sort of social structures that we'll see in the future. I mean, as we move forward, especially in our, maybe we don't know what the sort of future might look like with COVID, um, but I think video games will play an important part of that. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Davidos. We appreciate you taking time to be with us today. And this is the first of our interconnected series, our web series about how liberal arts connects to our world, maybe in some ways that you might not think of. So thank you so much. And Thanks. Yeah, and actually, I, I do want to quickly say, um, if anyone is interested in learning more about uh, video games from a geographical or global perspective, uh, 
our department, Global Studies and Human Geography, is going to offer a class in the spring. Um, it'll be called the Geography of Gaming. Um, it's Geography 4270. It will be cross-listed with Geography 3200. Um, it will be remote, um, but it should be pretty interesting. So definitely check that out if you want to learn more about video games and globalization and geography.